What's up, everybody? This is Jose with Oakland Latinos Unidos, a.k.a. Oakland Latinos United, out here in Sacramento, California, in Sacra, South Sac, to be exact. And I guess I'm Sacramento Latinos United today. But uh, what am I doing out here in Sacramento? <laughs> and uh, why am I in front of this school called Hiram Johnson High School? Well, if some of you have been following me for a while, from time to time I talk about my past and I've, I've said before that I lived in Sacramento for a couple of years. And yes, I did live in South Sacramento for about roughly two and a half, to maybe three years. I can't remember exactly how many years, but it was about two and a half, three years. And that was from the time I was 14 till I was like 17 and a half. And then I ended up leaving Sacramento. But when I was here, I went to this high school, Hiram Johnson. And I'm going to talk about why I lived in Sacramento and what my time was like here, living in this town. So you got to remember, I came out here in 1992. And uh, before coming out here, all I knew was the Bay Area, Oakland, you know, Hayward, San Francisco, Berkeley, Richmond. That's all I knew. I didn't know nothing outside of, of, of the Bay Area. I had never even been to Sacramento at that point. Now I'm very familiar with the city, but at that time I knew nothing about it. I'm a 14 year old little squinkler and I didn't know anything about, about Sakura. So you gotta remember, between the areas, the, the time of like late 80s, early 90s, Oakland was really bad. You know, Oakland had a huge crime rate and a huge homicide, homicide rate and people were just falling like flies. And my brother was involved in some real serious criminal activity. And even my own dad, <coughs> may he rest in peace, was involved with some serious people. So my dad wanted to get us away from the violence in Oakland. And he wanted to move us away from all the desmadre that was going on in the town. Now, he moved us out here because he had a friend who was from Oakland who had moved out here. And he told him, why don't you move your family to Sacramento? And uh, we just ended up coming to Sacramento just like that without knowing anything about SAC. And had I stayed in Sacramento, I would have went to a school, to Fremont High School on High Street and Foothill. Everybody knows that school who's from the town. And um, yeah, my experience would have been probably different than coming here. But coming here and not knowing anything about Sacramento was a cultural shock. You know what I mean? Because like I said, I only knew the Bay Area. And when I came out here, the style, the way people were, the way things were, you know what I mean? Was completely different from the Bay Area. You know what I mean? And you know, Sacramento's a little, well, at least at the time, this is 92, was a little bit more country than the, than the Bay Area. You know what I mean? It was a little bit more open fields and I wasn't used to that. I was used to the city life, to the fast life. Sacramento was a little bit more slower. You know what I mean? And no offense to people from Sacramento. I don't know how it is now, but that's how it was then. So I ended up coming here to Hiram Johnson. And I want to tell you a little bit about my experience. One thing that, that, that really, really grabbed my attention right away was there was a lot of white kids at this school at the time. And uh, I wasn't used to being around white kids because you got to remember, I'm in East Oakland, the Flatlands, in the Fruit Bell area. There weren't very many white kids. There were maybe one or two, but that was about it. And over here, they were pretty deep. There was also a lot of Russians. I had never seen Russians before. <coughs> and um, there was a lot of Asians too. A lot of them were like Mons and Mians. You know, and those folks are like from uh, Vietnam and from like Laotia and, and, and those places. La Laotian or Laos. Laos, that's what it's called, not Laotia. They're Laotian. And I had never heard about those people in Oakland. In Oakland, there were Asians, but all I knew about was like the Cambodians and the Vietnamese and the Chinese and the Filipinos. But over here, there was a lot of Mungs and Mians, and they had like their own little gangs. They were called like APL, I think, above the law. There was also Norteños, uh, the uh, the Daimons and the Frank Loans back then. And uh, there was also a lot of Black Hoods, like um, like Creek Mob and uh, the Flax, and what was the other ones called? Uh, uh, Oak Park. And it was a different, different variety of groups of people. You know what I mean? Over there, they call that they used to call that the quad area. I remember that's where the cafeteria is. You know what I mean? And you got to remember, I'm from Oakland, bro. And there was a lot of drama at this school. That's the one thing I didn't know. I'm thinking I'm coming to a cool little school 
you know, people are going to mind, mind their own business and leave me alone. But no, nah, this school was pretty actually bad at the time. You know what I mean? I mean, it wasn't the worst, but it wasn't the best either. That's the uh, the gymnasium over there. <coughs> and uh, I remember I seen hella fights. I seen a race riot one time between the Asians over there and the, the Asians, the blacks and the Latinos. <laughs> I seen some crazy stuff at the school, you know, for what it was. <laughs> the school was a little bit wild. I can't lie. But, um, yeah, it was just different. But because I was from the town, you know, it's town business, East Oakland on mine. I didn't want to get involved in nobody's stuff, but, you know, I would meet people, kind of become cool with them, but then they would kind of want to get me involved in their, in their drama and their bullshit, and I wasn't having it, because I'm, I'm not from SAC, and therefore, I'm not going to get involved in your Sacramento, you know, wars out here, because it has nothing to do with me, you know? I remember another thing that tripped me out when I came to school here was, um, you know, I'm from Oakland. In Oakland, there is no Crips and Bloods. And we all say, blood, what's up, blood? I'm from the town. You know what I mean? And I remember, like, um, if you know the history of Oakland, people wasn't tripping in the late 80s, early 90s off the red and blue. It was more about turfs and hoods and barrios. You know what I mean? The Water Brothers and Nortenio stuff was just, just starting to pop off. So uh, most people wore whatever color they wanted. And, and you could see proof of this if you watch old videos like Children of Violence, The Principal, or if you watch any news report of uh, Chicanos from the Bay Area in the 80s and early 90s. They didn't really wear colors. They didn't wear red and blue. They wore whatever color they wanted to. That's just how it was. But, you know, I came out here saying blood. And I remember, and I had a blue t-shirt on and some dude was like, who are you calling blood, cuz? And why are you wearing blue? And I, I didn't know what he was talking about. And then he was just, I, I was like, dude, I'm from Oakland. We don't play that red and blue out there. You feel me? And uh, yeah, it was just, it was a trip. It was different for sure. But uh, in some ways, I'm kind of happy I didn't go to school in Oakland, high school in Oakland. Because, you know, school in Oakland, Oakland school district fucked me up. You know what I mean? It fucked me up badly in many ways. And I'll, I'll probably make a video about that sometime you know what i mean but sacramento school district wasn't no better that's the auditorium right there i remember coming in out of there a few times but yeah this school was was a little bad i remember i had a i remember i met some cool teachers like mr hotel mrs jackson uh, i remember i took rotc for a minute with mr benjamin and mr sully <clears throat> and there was um a few other teachers i can't remember their names you know what i mean I met a few cool homies, my homie Brandon, who's originally from Livermore from the Bay. I remember my homie Tommy and his and his twin, uh, Terry. They were from SAC. They were cool homies. They were white boy homies of mine. I actually still in contact with them. I still talk to them. And I met a whole bunch of other people. I met some really cool people out here. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to say I met bad people. A lot of people were cool. Some people were bad. Some people were all bad. You feel me? Like anywhere else. But, uh, yeah, man, that was my experience out here in Sacktown and Sacra. Those of you who knew me, maybe you might remember me. If you remember Jose from Oakland, you know what I mean? I was one of the few dudes from the Bay Area at this school. No lie. There was hardly anybody from the Bay Area at this school. Everybody I, I met here was, like, born and raised in Sacra, Sacktown, Sac all their life. I met one Chicano dude who told me he was from San Francisco. I met... A Asian dude who told me he was from Oakland. I met a couple dude, girls and guys who told me they were from Oakland, but they had came when they were hella little, so they didn't remember Oakland very well. And that was about it. And my homie from Livermore, and that was about it. Everybody else was SAC. I mean, now they say there's hella people from Oakland in SAC, but you got to remember, this is 92, bro. There were probably some, but there weren't very many, at least not at this school, maybe at another school in Sacramento. <coughs> but yeah, I'm Jose. I came here between 92 and like early 95, and then I went back to, to the Bay Area, to Oakland. I knew I wasn't going to stay in Sacramento, you know what I mean? I mean, Sacramento's cool, it's clean, it's not dirty, you know what I mean? Now there are some more ghetto areas, but at that time, it seemed like Sacramento was a little bit more clean, a little bit more, more well-kept, at least to me, coming from Oakland, from the ghettos, you know what I mean? From the hoods like Fruitvale and the Deep and all that. You know, I was used to all that shit being ghetto as fuck, but coming out here, there was lawns and yards and nice houses. So to me, I was like, wow, Sacramento's nice. Even though there were pockets that were hood, like the gardens, Oak Park, and 
and and <coughs> El Paso hikes and whatnot. But you know, I knew I wasn't gonna stay in Sacramento. No offense to anybody that uh that's from Sacramento, but it just wasn't for me. It's a nice place to visit, but I just don't want to live here. It's not for me. It was completely a different environment. And I'm just used to that. Let's face it. I'm used to that city life. I'm used to the fast life. And this is just a little too slow for me. So, yeah, at 18, I was like 17 and a half, about to be 18. I moved back to the Bay Area and I've never been back since. You know what I mean? I come back to Sacramento from time to time to visit, but it's usually just in and out. And I just wanted to show you guys and share this story with you guys about my time in Sacramento when I lived out here and when I went to Hiram Johnson High School and my experience. So if you're one of my fans from soccer, you can't say I never came to Sacramento. I actually lived here for about two and a half years. And uh, yeah, I learned a lot from my experience like I learned from any experience. So this is Jose with Oakland Latino United. Late.